Hello guys, so we continue our uh, lesson to use the constraint How to use the constraint So I will cover for coincident constraint Okay, contact constraint Okay, offset constraint And also the fixed component Right, so in the assembly we must know how to assemble this part Okay, so we refer to our drawing, the first drawing This one so what we are going to do we try to make uh, this frame okay item number three okay frame will be a fixed component because why the rest component will going to this frame okay uh, okay what uh, go back to katia environment okay first of all we need to rotate this part okay so i try to rotate this part Okay, sorry, this one. Okay, I try to move to a straight one. Okay, close up, straight one. Okay, I try to rotate this part. Okay, we can like this. Okay, right. So okay, click okay, roughly. So first one, the this wheel we are going to this frame. Okay, so if you are not confident to use the constraint, you you can use a move first. Okay, you use a move first to make it closer into this frame. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I directly use a constraint here. So I choose coincidence. So as you can see, coincidence function is to align the hole eh, between two holes align together okay so firstly highlight the icon okay so i choose the center this one the center one okay will be aligned with this hole okay so we click here okay so you see the line here is still not updated not updating so you need to update okay Okay, you see, we're going align into this one. Okay, so we want to put the wheel under this frame. So if you can see from the drawing, there is a gap between uh, frame and also the wheel. Eh? So we measure the gap first. Okay, the measurement. Okay, take out your measurement. So from here, we measure this one to this one how much okay 40 mm okay and then the frame inside the frame all right so this one how much 48 so meaning that 48 minus 40 the balance is 8 mm so a m 8 mm we divide by 2 okay become 4 mm for each side Okay, okay so we try to use we we use this one offset constraint set constraint so this surface okay with this surface inside the frame okay they will offset here 4 mm eh? so click okay and then don't forget to update okay going inside so you can see here there is a little gap so we can measure again to confirm so this one surface into this surface okay you can see minimum distance is 4 mm all right so the next one is we want to coincidence this bolt eh? so i hide the Measurement, eh? I hide the measurement. Okay, so I want to align this one. So again, coincidence, this bolt, okay, into this hole. Okay, you need to play around this area until you got the axis. Right, so again, update. So you can see here, okay already align 
okay so some cases okay some cases uh, okay why is this this one it become like this so if you want to make a constraint after you use a coincident constraint you can use a contact constraint so i show you contact constraint so like this eh? so this one this surface must be contact into this surface okay so you need to update all right so next one this board okay this net sorry this net needs to place at the end of the board so same again same method you need to use a coincidence okay make a center exist here okay find the center exist all right so and then you choose into the center as this this one okay so you update okay next one you use a contact surface contact constraint so you highlight this surface then the next one is this frame surface all right and then you update okay nice last but not least the square the slot square so this one okay only surface of this close right this close okay okay i try to okay then i try to make it up a little bit okay okay so we use a contact this surface the bottom one this one this one okay all right so it happened eh? so we need to contact the bottom first and then the next one this one face into the back this one okay we try this one okay happening all right so this is all all right so you complete assemble eh? assemble for this part okay so you can uh, in order for you to differentiate the color or differentiate the part it's easy for you to color the part so how to color the part okay you need to on your uh, graphic properties okay graphic properties so uh, you can see here okay if i highlight the board okay okay the wheel still no color so we can choose the color here okay put a yellow color for different part eh? okay let's say the orange color okay this one the slot color we put a turquoise color and then for the for the bolt nut okay we can change the color let's say a pink and then the board we put the color as a uh, blue okay so easy for you to differentiate when we're doing uh, space analysis uh, later on okay that's all see you for the next video thank you